good evening guys. I think it's just gone 11. Uh, and I'm in here looking for a little box of assorted fuses. But I can't remember if it's in here or where it is. Because um, I need an auto fuse. A fuse for a car. Because I was just playing around or messing around with the battery charger. I've just put a couple of new... Uh, Crocodile clips on and uh, short them out and blew the fuse because <laughs> I was pissing around with it. <laughs> Teach me to piss around with it, really, won't it? No, because I'll probably just go and do it again. That's the second thing today I've actually uh, made go pop. Although the first thing wasn't deliberate, that was a pure accident. And I'll tell you about that in a minute. Oh, I did keep it! Oh, good. So I want to put that on my bike trailer. Yes, it's a fog light. But I'll just put a lower wattage bulb in there. And uh, I've got a 12 volt battery. Actually, I've got loads of 12 volt batteries. I've got that one that probably needs a charge. I've got another one. Should have a 6 volt one somewhere. size fuse is in that old car stereo actually. Let's just have a look at that. It's not in here. I know the trail one's not in here. It might be sitting in the um, cupboard in the hallway. Yeah, I was just piss assing around with this and uh, blew the fuse because I want to charge this battery up and I want to know if my um, connections were good so I was just going like that making sparks and that went bang. Oops. <laughs> Bit of an oopsie. But yeah, at the workshop today, I was uh, fitting an extra light on a separate switch above where the workbench is right at the end. And uh, got it all wired up. I took power from one of the fluorescent lights at that end on the left. Turned them on. Worked fine. Turned the one on above the bench, worked fine. Turned it off, stepdad comes in. I show him that it's working, you know, I turn the switch on, light above the bench, works. <laughs> then I flick the light switch off and bang. And I'm standing there thinking, wait a minute, things are supposed to go bang when you turn them on, not off. And <laughs> But it was actually from the light I'd taken power from. So I took the annoying cover off again. And I'm looking at all my connections, no sign of a bang, because it was a big bang. Very big bang. I mean, it tripped out the 6 amp breaker in the workshop and the 32 amp breaker in the house. Which, uh, I suppose in a way that this accident was a good thing, because at least I know the um, circuit breakers are working. And uh, doing what they're supposed to do. And I don't think this fuse is actually going to be big enough. get it out and I'll just go and get I'll find my box and I'll get one you got a bit of a close-up of my ugly mug there didn't you my apologies if you're gonna have nightmares now um, what had happened <laughs> I'd obviously um ran the cable down the inside of the fluorescent light to where the terminals were terminated it and then tucked it in nice and neatly but the cover is an absolute bitch to get on on that specific light. And I'm thinking, what happened? While I was pissing around trying to get the cover on, the cable that was in the light fixture had worked loose and popped out of place without me seeing. And where the screw for the cover goes in, it's like on a big standoff, and there's a spike on that. And I'm guessing I didn't realise that I'd trapped the cable on that spike tightened the screw down so it pierced the insulation and eventually it must have been sort of digging in slowly which is why it didn't go bang straight away but I'm guessing with the pressure of the thing pushing on it slowly eventually it just the spike pierced to hit the metal and tripped out so at least I know the um, earths are also working 
because it tripped out. <coughs> so, in a sense, I'm happy that I know the electrics are safe in that sense, that if anything does go wrong, they are going to trip. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Thankfully, I just it was just a little tiny little pinhole. And I only found it because I was actually just... I was actually playing with the cable, trying to put the cable back into place. And I was going to turn the lights back on, you know, to see if everything is going to work. And then I just found this tiny little black pinhole on the cable. And when I sort of lined it up and looked up on the inside of the fluorescent lights case, I could see a scorch mark as well. So uh, that kind of gave it away as to where it was. Right, let's just have a look in my cupboard here. Oh yeah, oh I better move that, that's my uh, rent statement. I sort of send you one every three months, which is a good thing, because I can keep an eye on what my rent is doing. Right. Uh, well just from standing here, I can actually tell you it's not in here. So what have I bloody done with it? Oh well, I'll find it later and I'll get that fixed and leave the battery on charge overnight. Anyway, yeah, stepdad didn't want those batteries because at the new house he hasn't got use for anything like that anymore. Because um, he hasn't got the room for any sort of motorised projects now that would use those. So this one, I don't know if it's actually any good. I know that one should be. Although it's been left dead for a while, so I don't know if it's going to take charge. We'll find out when I get the charger working. <laughs> we'll see. Um, I had to put these clips on. Well, what I was doing before is actually screwing the wires straight to the batteries, but got a hold of these today at the workshop, put them on with a couple of these crimps. <laughs> oh, excuse me. And uh, Bob's your auntie, anyway. He also gave me these, and I've got one more to um, take off the wall. It's actually properly screwed up, so I've uh, had to piss ass around trying to get that down. If I could be bothered, I might not actually bother. I've also got that power strip, an eight-way power strip. Because, uh, again... He's got all the outlets in the current workshop he needs, because obviously he was using that for some tools and whatnot. Power tools. No longer needed, so instead of leaving that there, I took that as well. I've got some bag of bits here as well. I've got the laptop back. No, I went there with um, one bag at first with my laptop in. And every day I've gone out there and taken another bag. Right. I'd be better off taking a battery charge at that moment, actually I'll put it in there. Right, so I've got a few goodies in here, not the gloves. It was actually rather cold this morning, so I took those just in case. Um, no. I wasn't actually supposed to bring that home, but never mind, I can go in my box of electrical bits with all the other stuff. I've uh, that is off one side of a, his first algae scrubber he made. Because he was using these um, 10 watt 12 volt floodlights. So I just, he was going to chuck the, or leave the old scrubber there. So I just took that off just to take the floodlight off. And uh, I was also kicking around another loose one. Which I just thought I'll keep hold of them as spares. Because, uh, you know... I'm using three in this lounge above my Lego table, and there's one inside the shed. Oh, bollocks, I've got some um, thingies home. I also rescued these. Some 12 volt low voltage lighting. And uh, what I plan to do with these, I've got to get the bulbs. I haven't got any bulbs, so I've got to get some. But I was going to stick them on here, wire them up on this, you know. Just screw those up there, one on each shelf, or maybe two, I don't know. And uh, just take the wires down the back, connect them up to a 12 volt transformer. I think I've got about four or five of these. 
that I rescued as well. I've got that one, that's 12 volt as well. Takes a different, entirely different blood. I have one bag of crap, I think that's the only bag of crap I've got left. Yeah. That cat is really starting to get annoying. I got that Weller soldering iron yesterday. Uh, might bring my old challenge cordless drill home. I had left it in my stepdad's workshop because that was a bloody good drill for him to use, but it stopped working. So I was going to see if I could fix it. Breathe a bit of life into it. Uh, anyway, I'm not at Mum's tomorrow. I've got the day off. I think I've got Friday off as well. We are going to pick up some kitchen cabinets that were being offered for free on Gumtree because uh, he's going to use them as well he needs something to put his drill press on and whatnot so instead of taking the crap he knocked together in the old workshop he just thought you know look for some old kitchens that have been ripped out and been given away for free and uh, coincidentally he found some so I've got to pick those up Saturday morning. Uh, I've still got electrical jobs to do at Mum's though. The workshop's done. Electrically it's done. Apart from he may want another one or two outlets installed on the right hand side. I've put one in, um, which he asked, but he might want another couple. But apart from that, the electrics are done and uh, working all fine, apart from the blown tube. I just wouldn't light. You could hear it trying to start, but it wasn't flickering. And I checked the light fitting, because the other one on the left-hand side is the same length. It's a six-foot light, so I just swapped the tubes. The fitting works fine. So it's definitely the tube that has uh, burnt out. It was working absolutely fine, but it's just suddenly burnt out. I don't know. Um, what else have I got? So I've got the floodlight to put up. Because that outside light on the wall that they include is about as much use as a chocolate teapot. In fact, I think holding a candle or a matchstick would be better. Excuse me. Um, there's an outside socket I've got to put up on the wall. And a sock an extra socket in the hallway. But I haven't decided on the best way to do that. Because uh, for some reason they've put two lights in the kitchen, two lights in the hallway and two lights in the lounge. But you can't turn each light on and off separately. The one light switch in each room turns on both lights. Which I think is dumb personally. But probably done on the cheap. Because obviously with the extra cable and the extra light switch it would have... Uh, or a double gang light switch would have cost them more. But, uh, so what Mum wanted was a lamp in the hallway instead. Because it would use a lot less electric. Because they only need light. Well most of the time I just need light. A little light. Which is going to give off enough light. Light, 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 light. I think I said that too much. <laughs> just so that you see, you know, to get to the bedrooms and kitchen. They don't need the two big bright lights on. Only really need those on if they need to go into the cupboard. Anyway, so I've got to figure out how I'm going to do that one. Got a couple of options. It's a stud wall, so I could just run a cable straight in from the top and <laughs> just cut a square out to put the plasterboard back box in and. Uh, yeah, I could just, uh, could actually tap off in the attic, probably. That's one option, like I said, and just run the cable straight down the, um, stud wall, if I can find the gap. <laughs> uh, which might actually be easier. Might be easier to do, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Anyway. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm getting tired. I, 
I've been awake for a lot longer than I've been asleep and I didn't have a very good night last night because of my gut so I'm going to head to bed a little earlier I think tonight. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you liked the video please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed please subscribe and many thanks in advance and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.